हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माई इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी नॉट टॉक अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन विच वी नीड टू टेक फॉर अ ड्राई डॉकिंग इन टूडे वीडियो इन अ बुलेट पॉइंट वील टॉक्स अबाउट दैट हाउ यू आर गोन प्रिपेयर अ सीप बिफोर टेकिंग टू ड्राई डॉक वॉट थिंग यू शुड चेक वेन यू आर एंट्रिंग इन अ ड्राई डॉक एंड आफ्टर दैट बाई विच प्रोसीजर द सीप एंटर इन साइड अ ड्राई डॉक and as a crew how and what action you should take during the dry dock pre dry dock and after the dry dock so this video is going to be interesting so please watch till last i guarantee after watching the video you will have a clear concept of action need to be taken during dry dock before dry dock and after dry dock friend those who are watching this video for the first time i want to tell you marine engineering has a platform which make video like this which will be beneficial for your interview exam and for your oral so please like share and don't forget to subscribe please share our video in your social media platform such as whatsapp instagram and facebook facebook story friend those who are giving am your class 1 class 4 or class 2 to those i want to tell you that we have lot of video which are yet to be released you can get that video by joining the membership and you can have a interaction with me in which i can resolve your issue and doubt so this is a part 3 of a dry dock series if you want to know about detail about the ship stability and things we need to do in dry dock before dry dock critical period and other thing you can watch the part 2 in this video i will explain in bullet point so that in a interview you can remember this thing and if you want to know about this thing in a detail you can watch the part 2 so let's start our today video of dry dock so before entering a dry dock what action you should first take so first is that in a 5 year period of time you have to attend to dry dock as i have told in my first video so the first thing is that you have to choose a dock so depending upon your requirement that if you are going for intermediate survey you can choose floating type dock but if you are going for renewal survey you will choose graving type of dock because a extended inspection is been done in renewal survey and therefore you need graving dock but if you are doing a intermediate survey you can do in a floating dock also so based on the availability based on the presence that whether it will be available based on the your time period you have to book a dock so you have book in a dry dock that you will go in this dock on that period of time now the second thing come now the time period has come and you want to go to dock for your dry dock so how you you will prepare your ship you have to prepare your ship by these four condition the first is the minimum ballast you have to ensure that your ship has minimum ballast and your ship should be in a lightweight condition so what is a lightweight condition it means that you don't need to take unnecessary cargo and other equipment and you should maintain lightweight condition and you should have a minimum ballast the second point is that you should have a adequate gm so what is gm gm is a meter centric height the distance between g and m is called meter center height this meter centric height should be positive when it will be positive when m is above g why it is necessary to have m above g because it produce writing moment what is writing moment writing moment is a method by which the ship upright itself by producing it writing moment when it has got positive initial meter centric height now you have to maintain adequate meter centric height the third thing is that you have to maintain trim so what is trim trim is the difference between the forward draft and aft draft so here if the forward draft is 10.32 and aft is 12.40 then your trim is 2.08 by aft if your trim forward is 13.25 aft is 11 then your trim is minus 
0.25 it means trim by head so here you have to maintain trim by out that is slightly that is approx 0.5 to 1.5 and fourth thing is that you have to secure the sensitive equipment what are the sensitive equipment such as eco sounder lock sensor and the drain plug so these are the equipment you need to secure in a proper way now before entering a dog you need to make sure that your ship should be trim by stern why because when you are entering a dog your stern part of a ship first touches the keel block this period is called a critical period and at this time a up thrust is generated that is called p which tend to reduce the initial metacentric height so therefore if you want to know about more detail about critical period you can watch the part 2 of the video in which i have explained whole thing explaining the with this diagram and how we are losing the up thrust so when the ship is touching the keel block at that time the divers will go inside to check that the verify that the proper keel block alignment is there or not and the docking master will communicate all through the operation to ensure that ship maintain proper trim and ship properly touches the stern part followed by the forward pass slowly slowly touches as the water is been pumped out from the dock now as i told you that in the fourth point here that you have to maintain adequate ballast adequate gm trim by stern and you have to secure sensitive equipment so how you will secure the sensitive equipment you will secure the sensitive equipment by not placing the keel block in in the equipment area so how you will avoid that you will avoid that by following the docking plan in a docking plan it is mentioned that how you should place a keel block such that you can avoid those area where the sensitive equipment such as eco sounder speed lock or drain plug is fitted which can be used for maintenance after the ship is been docked now when you are approaching for a entry at that time the dock master will be in communication and when you are approaching for entry the ship will be immobilized why because you don't want to damage your propeller and rudder so it will be mainly assisted by the tug after that it will be moved and the mooring operation will be communicated with the help of a dock master ship crew and dock crew so that ship remain in a upright condition to ensure that the ship remain in the upright condition the dock master ship crew and the dock crew will have a thorough communication the diver will carry out his inspection to ensure that the ship is sitting slowly slowly properly like this the diver will be inside and he will be checking that is properly sitting why because this is the center girder area and it is the strongest part of a ship and this can only bear the weight if the ship sits slightly slantwise it will damage the hull structure so after that the water will continue to pump out and once the ship settle properly all along the block it will be moved so once the ship settle the water will be pumped out and as you can see this is the arrangement of a keel block which is been done before the ship enter and this is been done as per the docking plan now when the final alignment is been done the diver is inside to ensure the proper keel block contact and the mooring operation has been done the most important is that it should sit on a ship center line why because the keel block center part is the center girder which is strongest part and it can only take the weight of a ship properly once the ship is properly set 
now you can carry out the hull inspection maintenance and you can carry out the any structural modification so now you see here that ship has been settled on the keel block now the, the dock is been locked water is pumped out after that the anchor chain is been laid and now the work is started and slowly slowly the welding work cleaning job and all the other job is started now the question sometimes are asked that as a crew on board what will be your duties the first thing is that as i told you before that when you are entering a dock you have to perform certain action such as minimum ballast condition that minimum ballast condition why you need to maintain so that you should have a slightly trim so in order to ensure certain trim you have to manage it with the help of a ballast how much trim you need to maintain that is been tell by the docking master to the ship master and after that the master will inform the crew that what condition we need to maintain before entering a dock the sensory equipment will be secured by help of a docking plan which will be shared by the ship crew to the docking master after that when the ship is been docked the mooring operation will be handled by the ship crew along with the dock crew now your ship is been moored now what you and ship is laid been laid in a block now what action you should take the first is that you have to pump out the water and second is that you have to connect the shore power the shore power need to be first connected so that you should have a power supply on board now you know there is interlock that you cannot connect shore power and the generator at in a same way it means that the main generator bus bar and the shore connection bus bar cannot be interconnected one can be connected in a one time with the generator so as you know there is a in a three phase induction if you change the two terminal the direction rotation will change so it's very important to connect it properly so for that reason a phase sequence tester is there which will test in which direction the rotation is proper or not after that only you will connect the shore power and you will note down the reading before connection the second thing is that you will remove the drain plug of the bottom in order to drain the ballast tank other tank depending upon you have to carry out the inspection now suppose you have drained the drain plug and after that you have finished all the work now you have to need to put back so how you will put back this question has asked in a mu class 2 examination so what you need to do you need to put the drain plug first tighten the drain plug then put a soapy solution around it and after that you have to enclose that area with a this enclosure which will create a vacuum condition around the drain plug and after that with a torch you need to see whether there is any air bubbles is been seen or not if a air bubble you can see it means there is a leakage if no air bubble it means a system is perfectly tightened and even if you after docking you fill with water there is no leakage from the bottom plug so friend if we tell the synopsis of the video is that if you want to enter a dry dock the first thing you need to do you have to search a dock after that you have to prepare a ship based on this four condition minimum ballast adequate gm trim aft and securing the sensitive equipment after that when the ship is sitting during a critical period you have to make sure that you should have a positive initial metacentric height and the driver will check that proper sitting is there or not followed by the approach should be such that it should be upright and moving should be done properly then the final alignment will be done based on a center line and then ship will be made to sit followed by the crew duties the duty of crew will be to maintain the adequate trim by ballasting and deballasting so that ship can first sit by stern followed by the forward part the second thing is that to ensure that proper communication with the dock crew docking master and ship crew and third is that sewer connection and the other duties so when you are entering a dry dock at that time ship duty 
show duties and other technician duties are defined before entering a dock and it need to be performed in a specified period of time so that ship can come out first so friend if you have learned something in this video please do like the video please do subscribe the video and please do